Cornish companies breaking ground on a $200 million luxury hotel as part of the Maryland Live Casino. I'm joined by casino developer David Cornish for a look at opportunities and potentially challenges in the industry. David, nice to see you again. Rhonda, nice to see you again. Uh, it's been about three, four years ago when you were here at our opening of the casino, and we appreciate that you've stayed with us and kept following us. Well, nice you certainly you. have an interesting story to tell, and I want to get right to that. What are you seeing in Maryland right now in terms of gaming revenue growth and visitors, and how does a luxury hotel change that monetary equation? Well, business has been very, very strong in Maryland, uh, breaking records each month. And I'm pleased and proud to say that the Maryland Live Casino that our family owns has been capturing the great bulk of that $100 million a month. Uh, we are in a very good spot locationally, and the live brand has been very well received. And what's happened is that we've built up, since I last talked to you, over a million rewards customers. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people gambling here regularly who have our card. Now, we give those people rewards of every kind you can imagine, uh, trips uh, to the Caribbean, uh, uh, restaurants, uh, uh, tic tickets to sporting events. But what we haven't been able to give them till now is a comp or free hotel room connected to the casino. And we're getting customers from uh, 10 minutes away and 30 minutes away, but two and three and four hours away. And this way, when they want to stay over for the night, they'll have a, uh, the elevator, takes you right down into the lobby, uh, the common lobby of the hotel and the casino. So it's another reward. We'll use the hotel for some other things. We're building a big convention facility uh, connected to it. But the primary purpose, and to answer your question, what changes the equation here is the uh, ability to uh, have our rewards customers stay overnight. So does that mean you'll be rolling, rolling out the live hotel brand nationally? Yes, indeed. Uh, very good question. What we control, we have the copyright to it, is the live brand for entertainment, for casinos, and for hotels. This will be the first to occupy the live niche uh, connected to our casino here, but it will be rolled out nationally and internationally, connected with other casinos we're doing and with non-casinos. And what we feel is missing in the hotel industry is a situation where you have an upscale, world-class, first-rate hotel room accommodation combined with the entertainment that we do so well. So when you walk into the lobby, you'll be greeted with music and live music and restaurants and bar scene and other amenities. But when you go to your hotel room itself, you will still be in a first-class, world-class accommodation. We think that niche is missing um, in the hotel industry, and we intend to fill it with a live brand hotel. Uh, David, as you know, you'll soon face some competition from an MGM property. It's going to open later this year, down the road more or less from you. Is the market in Maryland big enough to support you both? We think so, uh, and we're pretty confident of it. It's about 37 miles away, so it's not right next door neighbor. And the best way to answer your question is just six minutes away, six and a half miles from us, a, uh, the largest ho uh, gambling company in the world, Caesars, opened about three, two and a half, three years ago. And people asked me the same question when Caesars opened. And a lot of uh, pundits said, oh, they'll take 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent of Maryland Live's business. Well, Standing here today, I can tell you based on the state's published figures every month, every year, our revenue exceeds at Maryland Live what it did when we were here by ourselves. In other words, it exceeds what the numbers we were doing before Caesars opened six minutes away. So MGM's a good competitor. Uh, we welcome them to Maryland. Uh, game on, as they say. 
I think they'll do fine. We'll continue to do exceptional numbers that we've enjoyed to date. David Cordish, it's been nice speaking with you. Thank you so much. Rhonda, nice to talk to you again. I'm Rhonda Schapther for The Street.